the Outriders leading. And the Windsor Grey horses we have today. Milford Haven, Storm, Plymouth and Tyrone are going to lead the Duke and Duchess through Windsor. But first down to the advanced gate and past the television village that has grown here. the newlyweds they've been waiting here patiently for hours and days and finally a glimpse of the happy couple tears and cheers here outside king Re king henry the eighth gate Um, Gina, Amanda and Kenya who've been here throughout Rihanna Mills here, our royal correspondent as well. Uh, Gina, she's going to be laughing herself, isn't she? Yes, she is. She's loving it. Look, I mean, it's just, it's a moment in time. It's, we, we're going to remember this forever and so will she. Um, this is something that every girl dreams of. It's a modern day fairy tale. And it's actually happening right now. It sure is. And it's a modern day fairy tale for uh, the palace, also for her, a mixed race woman in the palace, part of the royal family for the first time. For the first time to see her mother, Doria, to see the image of her sitting among the royals and to see how diverse uh, the guests were. I mean, a mixture of Americans and British aristocracy and royal. It was so touching. I felt like I was in Virginia in my, my home church for a second. So just this mixing of worlds was really just really beautiful and frankly moving to see. What did we think of the dress, Amanda? Absolutely perfect. Excellent. Exquisite, yeah. absolutely exquisite. I think she completely nailed it. Uh, it looks so modern. I loved how pared back it was, or is. Uh, I love the, the element of incorporating all the, the countries of the Commonwealth in the veil, in the embroidery of the flowers on her veil. And that exquisite tiara, the Queen Mary Bando tiara, just learned her by Her Majesty. Exactly, crowning glory. Apparently, um, Harry whispered to her as she walked up the aisle, you look amazing. She does, and, and also I love the fact that her makeup was so pared back. She wasn't 
It's going to be something like half an hour or so this way down Castle Hill along the High Street. We've seen that already through Windsor Old Town and then along the Long Walk here. Long Mills is here too. Quite the day for both of them. And in the last couple of days as they were here in Windsor, as the sun was shining, as they were doing those rehearsals with those bridesmaids and page boys who actually were remarkably well behaved on the day. Under the circumstances. Under the circumstances. They were, I was told that they had to have a number of rehearsals with the little ones to make sure they knew exactly what they were doing. But some really touching moments weren't there when Megan was there walking down the aisle with the two twin boys carrying her veil. It was just so beautiful. It most, most certainly was. The other thing that touched me greatly was when they came out of the church and the happy couple left to, to take part in this procession. We saw Charles offering an arm each, both to Camilla and indeed to Megan's mum. I have to say, we have got to think about Gloria Raglan today. She was sitting behind her daughter, looking very emotional, I think, throughout the entire service. As Megan was taking her vows, I took, took a look at, at Doria, and she was there nodding her head in support of her daughter. Of course, there has been discussion this week about the fact that Thomas Markle, her father, wasn't able to be here because of health reasons. And for the royal family, I think one of the important things for them has been to be to rally round Doria Ragland. Since she arrived here in the UK on Wednesday, she has had time to meet Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. We're told that they had an incredibly jolly cup of tea and got on extremely well. And it was yesterday that Doria Ragland also had what some may say that rather daunting task of sitting down to tea with Her Majesty the Queen and also the Duke of Edinburgh. But the, and I've remarked that obviously she didn't want to keep her groom waiting. I'm hoping they won't go too fast. These people have been waiting for such a long time. Okay, I'm being pushed out of the way a little bit by Gary. I think I'm slightly in the way. They're just coming our way now. Uh, they have a reception for 600 people after yes. this, uh, hosted by Her Majesty. So everyone who's been inside St George's Chapel at the moment will now be being chaperoned to St George's Hall where they will be having... Oh, forgive me, at the Grand Hall. Don't worry, that's where they'll be uh, having their reception uh, this afternoon. And we're hoping that we will get some details about things like the food, maybe if there were any speeches, um, but we'll have to wait some to see. Some suggestions Megan might be. Hey, why not? We've yeah. had a mix, haven't we? Today, we're we're traditional and modern, and I think look, she is a proud woman, independent, all up for ecology, and yeah, she wouldn't be a nice touch if she stood up. And they pay tribute to a mother. Yeah. Uh, don't you, I can just see the horses now. Um, they're going to be in front of our cameras within, I'm going to say, the next 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. This is really exciting. And the Ascot Landau that they're travelling in was especially chosen because it's actually quite high up, which means that the crowds will get a fantastic view uh, as the couple head past. And hopefully we will also uh, get a good view of them as well. Same Landau carriage that was used by Wills and Kate. So this was the same carriage that Prince Harry actually travelled in with uh, the Duchess of Cambridge's sister. So when he was best man, he travelled in this carriage. Okay, here they come. Slowing down a little tiny bit, or maybe I'm just imagining that. But let's see if we can grab a word with them as they go past our excellent Daniel's position here in ultra high definition. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest channel uploads. From me in Shropshire, goodbye.